What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So happy Friday, first and foremost. Thank goodness it is the weekend. I tell you guys all the time though, now I don't, sometimes I don't even know what day it is because my schedule is so different and my life is a little different now that I, you know, I'm doing uh, YouTube full time, but I still enjoy the weekend. I still love the thought of having a weekend, still. Um, but in any case, I want to encourage you guys, first and foremost, to always keep yourself in positive uh, spirits. Always set great intentions for your day. As always, make that a daily routine. I promise you it will make a difference in your day. Um, I just want to remind you guys that just because it's the weekend doesn't mean to give yourself a big break off of your goals. Yes, it is important for you guys to kind of give yourself a day to just reset relax you know let loose a little bit give yourself a little time to kind of regroup that's fine we all need that it's almost like you're working a crazy job you need a mental health day i really do believe in mental health days and i used to take them all the time whenever i had excuse me whenever i had personal time or vacation time even in my previous jobs Whenever I felt like I needed to just dial back with work and life and whatever it is that was, you know, happening, I took a day off. I took a day off and I would take that day off and literally do nothing except relax, do some self-care, meditate, pray, read, do things that I feel like I don't have time to do for myself. I allowed myself a mental health break to just kind of unwind, I'd stay off the phone, I'd stay off social media, because sometimes you really do need that. You, you need to kind of shut down for a day to kind of clear your mind, get yourself reoriented. That way you can, you know, come back and do what you have to do. So with the weekend ahead, um, I hope you guys are having a great week or had a great week so far, and I hope you guys are gonna have an amazing weekend. Um, but today, uh, aside from that, I want to talk to you guys about the importance of healing. Um, you know, I felt compelled today to talk about this because there's so many people around me who, you know, are going through the processes of healing and, and you know, going through things and trying to figure out what to do with themselves at this point. Um, I personally am still healing from things um, from my past. So I just want to touch up on that a little bit. Um, I really honestly wholeheartedly feel that it is absolutely, absolutely deeply important for you to heal from trauma, um, from mental trauma and emotional trauma. Because, you know, I've seen this so much where you not healing from traumas literally pour into your future. It pours into your kids. It pours into your marriage. It pours into your families. It pours into your relationships. It pours into your job. Literally, you are doing yourself a disservice if you do not heal from traumas. Um, and traumas can be all types of different things it could be um you know like i said emotional trauma mental trauma um you know you may have gone through a bad breakup a bad marriage growing up in a household with trauma um you know having seen you know your parents being a certain way or your mom or your dad being a certain way and it being traumatic um, you know, seeing abuse growing up a certain way. And I feel like at a certain point when you are a grown person and you know right from wrong, it is your absolute duty and responsibility to make sure that you don't turn out the way that you saw people, you know, portraying what trauma was growing up. Um, and I say that because, you know, there's certain people who grew up watching certain things and then they grow up and then they say, well, this is all I know. 
Um, I personally dealt with someone who literally never spoke to anybody about their traumas, never saw a counselor, never seek therapy, never even spoke to um, any type of counselor. And, you know, this person didn't grow up with their parents. This person literally grew up watching the worst. And, you know, seeing their parents grow up a certain way, it caused them to be a certain way. And so as a grown person, they continue to say, well, that's all I know. And that's all I know. And that's all I know. I'm sorry. But to me, you get to be a certain age where you understand right from wrong and you understand how men and women work and how things are supposed to be and how things look like. You gotta, you can't use that as an excuse anymore. And some people do use that an excuse as an excuse, but it poured into you know, their relationships, all of them, every single last one of them. And guess what? The person's kids felt it. And, you know, I personally am still healing from certain things and you're constantly going to be healing. Would it be easier as time goes on? Absolutely. Will you make mistakes? Will you fall off? Absolutely. That is all part of healing. You you can't sit here and say, oh, well, you know what? I spoke to a counselor or a therapist and I'm fine now and everything is gone in one session. That is so not realistic. That is not realistic. When you are dealing with trauma, trauma is something that has been embedded in you for a period of time to where you are now acting as a part of that trauma. Like you, you, you're carrying that trauma with you. Um, you've got to kind of get to a point. And I, I, I feel like it is so important. I don't care who you are. I don't care man, woman, what you're going through, whether you're happy, whether you're still going through something. I honestly advocate for you to go see a therapist, go see a counselor, figure things out. Because the last thing that you want to do is carry things over into your future from your past. And that it doesn't belong there. It does not belong there. Your past does not belong in your present or your future when it comes to trauma. You literally have got to get to a place where you don't act out from that trauma. That That's what that means when it kind of pours into your future, pours into your relationships and work and things like that. You, you're carrying that trauma with you because you haven't spoken to anybody. You haven't gotten any type of counseling. So you feel like there are certain things that is just supposed to be because that's just the way that it was in your past. And that's so not the case. That is so not the case. I have seen so many people who have lacked um, in their relationships, who have lacked in parenthood, who have lacked in being, you know, a, a, a parent, being a family person, being a friend, a brother, a sister. Like I have seen a lot of people who, without dealing with that trauma, what it has done to them and their surrounding lives. And it is not healthy at all. I promise you it is not. So I want to encourage anybody out there who is dealing with trauma, who is dealing with things of the past that you have never spoken about, things that you feel like you have, you know, put a block on to where, you know, it doesn't exist. And that's what happens when people go through trauma and they go through life they almost put a curtain over it and it literally, you believe that it never happened. That's how far back in your mind this trauma is. And that is so dangerous for you emotionally, mentally, and for whoever you decide to be with, for your family, your friends. That is such a dangerous thing to do because you're only masking the very thing that can kill you later. And I don't mean that literally, but it can really alter your future. It really, really can. So, you know, I, I hope you guys, and I know for some it is easier said than done. For some, you know, out of these traumas, now you have anxiety, now you have depression, now you have, you know, you go through things in life where everything is dark. I promise you, seek help. 
seek a therapist, seek a counselor, seek a, a, a accountability partner, seek somebody who's going to help you through this. Find somebody who you can trust, talk to, release these traumas. That is the only way that you can honestly heal from the things that hurt you in the past. The things that hurt you in the past shouldn't, and 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 you shouldn't believe that that's who you are. You know, you guys heard of breaking generational curses and things like that. You can actually start a generational curse by not healing from past traumas. And, you know, I it took me a while to get to a place where I said, OK, you know what? I need to talk to somebody about this because this is something that I should have done a long time ago. And maybe one day I'll do a separate video on, you know, my traumas. Um, I'm just not ready for that yet. But um, I can honestly tell you guys that when you start to heal, it gets very, very, very ugly. It is very ugly. And your job is to take that ugliness head on and deal with your trauma so you can release it and move forward you need to allow yourself the opportunity to gain whatever this life has in store for you with the the with the want to want that like you have to want better for yourself and if if, if it means going through ugly cries and screams and shutting yourself down for a day or two to heal, do that. Do whatever it is that is necessary for you to heal because that stuff is no joke. And that can actually alter your health physically and, you know, alter you even more emotionally and mentally, you know, because I recently saw something that said, your energy will introduce you before you introduce yourself. And trust me when I tell you, sometimes it takes a little while, but you will see, if you're a good reader of energy, you will understand the type of energy that someone brings with you. You may not know where it came from, you may not know what they're going through, but sometimes you can see when a person is not at their best, mentally, emotionally, you know, especially when you get into relationships, um, when you start to get to know people, you, you know, you, you start trusting each other, you start talking about things, and then things start coming out. And if you have someone who encourages you, who motivates you, if you have a partner who is patient with you through your healing process, do not take advantage of that. Do not take that for granted because that is super, super important. And it's an absolute blessing to have somebody like that. So... I want to encourage you guys to really dig deep, understand that healing is not pretty. Healing is absolutely ugly, absolutely ugly. I know firsthand what it is to go through a healing process and it being ugly. Will you always walk in a straight line while you're healing? No. You will have your moments where you feel like you have broken out of your trauma and you are absolutely great and then one day boom literally you're a mess you're a mess a thought pops in your head it messes up your day it messes up your mood you don't understand what's happening and at that very moment you need to sit there and either pray meditate journal do something but release those thoughts and understand and remember that this is all part of healing because you are constantly healing to make sure that you don't go backwards um you know it and are you perfect no you are human you are allowed to go through these roller coaster rides of emotions and thoughts and you know situations um the best thing that i can tell you to do when you are healing is to be patient with yourself be patient with yourself because not everybody is going to be patient with you but you are a work in progress. You need to be patient with yourself. You need to understand that there are points where you are going to cry. You are going to feel upset. You're going to feel mad, angry, depressed, 
anxious and it is okay. It is absolutely okay and it is so natural and it is it is beneficial for you to allow yourself to feel those things, face them head on and then let them go and move forward. Will they happen again? Yes. It will not be the first and last time that you feel those things. It will not be the first and last time where you feel like, you know what, for a couple of weeks, I'm good, I'm happy, I'm great, everything around me. And then one day, your past creeps into your thoughts and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, why am I thinking like this? Man, then it's it's, it's going to mess up your mood, but guess what? It is okay, it is part, part, it's all part of healing. It really, really is. And I know people who have gone through this and they all have said the same exact thing that i'm telling you right now so understand that healing is scary because you have to face those traumas again and the one thing that we tend to do when we go through things and we want to leave it behind is we never want to talk about it again we never want to think about it again we never want to to face those things again leave them where they are and let me just move forward those things are going to follow you if you don't deal with them, you know. So you have to face them. You really, really do. You have to face the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to healing. It is important. It is okay. It is normal. But please do yourself a favor and heal, 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 heal. That is my talk slash motivation for you guys today. Again, I felt compelled to talk to you guys about this today. It's the end of the week. I know we go through a lot of ups and downs, um, but I feel like it's not talked about enough when it comes to healing. Um, and I feel like it is so, 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 so super important for you guys to do that. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys um, benefited from this message. Um, you don't have to talk about what you go through down below, but let me know what you think. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, hit like and share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. Again, you guys, I just want to leave you with that. Please, please, please do yourself a huge favor and heal from your traumas. Heal from your traumas. Your future relationships will thank you. Your future marriages will thank you. Your future children will thank you. Your future jobs will thank you. Your future in general will thank you from healing from your traumas. I will see you guys later.